Welcome to Omni's Heat, and my name is John. And I'm Jessica. And today we're unboxing Keto Crate. For January 2020. January 2020. Um, I'll open the box here on the camera. Make sure hopefully nothing falls out. Very nice. All right. So I'll pull a little book out. All right. Very good. And then okay. I shall put this down. Ooh. Ooh, I think I'm doing right for the top. Right for the top. Right for the top. There's a card here. It has a... There's a recipe. Ooh. And... Recipe. Do tell. Just a bunch of cool little things. It's a... Um, a it looks like it has a couple of, of recommend... Or showings of what is in here, but not Ooh. everything. So, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, okay. Very good. Sorry, it doesn't have everything in here, so... All right, so... Uh... This is Catalina Crunch Maple Waffle Keto Friendly Cereal. Zero yeah. sugar, 10 grams of protein, 6 grams of fiber. Fi yeah, fiber. Um, t uh, and a serving size is about a third of a cup. Okay. 90 calories. Mm -hmm. Total fat, 3.5 grams. Total carbohydrates, 11. Dietary fiber, 6. Zero added sugars. So five net carbs per serving. This is vegan as well. Yes, this is vegan as well. What's um, the matter? You look concerned. Well, I'm just wondering wh how you ended up with 11 grams of carbs, six minus six grams. Of, that just seems high for some reason. Anyway, I'm willing to try this. Okay, let's go to try. There's no sugar alcohols. It does have monk fruit. But that's not a sugar alcohol. Right, no, no. Okay. okay, let's give this a try. Ooh, it smells good. Go Ooh, it does smell good. <laughs> I like it. It's not as mapley as I would like it. That's what I was going to say. It's a little bit bland. It's not bad, though. Yeah. There's a little bit of an aftertaste, too. There's a, definitely an aftertaste. Now that I've like finished chewing and swallowed, it's it's definitely there's a, there's an aftertaste there. Yeah, it's not terrible. Yeah. So. All right. You're up. All right, I'm gonna pull the next thing that's on top out. We got a very similar product in our keto box. We did. Same brand, but this is the pure organic, sugar-free, bakeable chocolate fudge brownie mix. And there's like a. There's like an oil on here. You want to hand me a tissue real quick? Sure. Um, I don't uh, know what it's like coming from. Oh, no. No. Okay, sorry. I don't know what the oil's coming from. Maybe we'll find out in a minute here, but... Um, oh, it's definitely... It's there's on the, definitely like an oily texture enough. on this. It's on a couple of things. I don't know where it's coming from, though. Sorry for all the crinkling. But anyway, this is a brownie mix. Uh, we got chocolate chip cookies, I think, in the keto box. That's what I was going to say. Um, but yeah. We will give that a try at some point in the future. Maybe I'll make it tonight. Maybe I'll make it some other night. I don't know. But as prepared, it's 130 calories, mm. 6 grams of fat, 19 carbs with 10 fibers. So that is a lot of carbs. That's 9 carbs. What am I missing? Oh, 4 erythritol. Uh, so 5 neck carbs. And then 2 protein. And what you add is 1 egg or vegan equivalent is what it says, three tablespoons of oil and a third a cup of water. So there's not a lot that you have to add, hmm. um, but you mix it, pour it in a pan, eight by eight pan and bake it for basically a half an hour, 20 to 24 to 28 minutes. So chickpea flour is the number one ingredient. So I'll give that a try. Yeah. I'll definitely give that a try. All right, go ahead, your turn next. We're gonna need to probably wipe off a lot of these products in here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where it's coming from. It doesn't, it's not on this one. And it wasn't on this either, so. So, I don't know. Yeah, you go ahead and, and okay. read that while so I try I, to clean up some of these products. I pulled the cr Big pork, big Fork Craft Pork Stick Original. Um, there's not a lot, of, there's, the nutrition facts are very, very small. Do you want me to read it? 90, it looks like 90 calories. Yeah, I can go ahead. Do okay, it. so, um, 50 calories, oh. 2.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, and seven protein. So, mostly protein. Hmm. So, did you want to try it now or you want to leave it for later? I'll leave it for the boys. 
They're, they're into the, I'm more into beef. Yeah, big pork. No, big fork. Craft yeah, pork stick. Okay. I'm okay. Mm-hmm. Fine. All right. The, ne- the next thing, I don't think we're going to try just because we know we like it, or at least I like it, and Neil likes it. He, I bought some of these on Black Friday, and they're he's been, he's been eating like all of them. But this is the uh, Hecka Good Foods. This is the peanut butter chocolate chunk flavor. We bought a box of these, and we bought a box of the chocolate chip cookie dough. Mm. Honestly, the chocolate chip cookie dough I like better than the chocolate uh, peanut butter. Um, th- they're both good. They just came out with a couple of new flavors, or they came out with a white chocolate chip macadamia nut, which I really want to try. Hmm. So when you buy these boxes, you do usually get a discount code. So I might look to use a discount code to try the, um, well, they, they now do a variety pack of oh, all their flavors. So I might buy a box of the variety pack. So. I'm not very much into those. No, you're not. I think they're tasty though. All right. They're almost like a candy bar. All right. Not as sweet. So this is I, I, Iota. Iota. Uno. Io, yeah, Iota. Umami. umami. It's umami. Okay, so tamari and apple cider vinegar flavor. Sesame, or yeah, uh, sunflower kernels. I'm definitely into trying these. I'll try mm-hmm. these on combo raw. John oh. is a savory eater. It's yeah. full to the brim, too. Yeah. Like, that's no joke. Hmm. Okay. I love... <coughs> <clears throat> I'd love to say that they're really. <clears throat> There's, they're not like super flavorful. No, they taste like sunflower seeds. Yeah. So they're fine. Yeah. I mean, they're sunflower seeds. Yeah. If you like sunflower seeds, you're gonna like them. If you don't, you're well, not gonna like them. Right. That is All right. Correct. This next item that I'm gonna pull out, we actually got this in our keto box. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, the Dang Bar peanut butter flavor. This is a new flavor or a new bar. I'm not sure. Um, you want to try it again? No. We did try it. I actually was, I thought I wasn't going to like it, but then once we got it open and tried it, I actually did really enjoy it. So, um, I think I finished it. Yes, I believe you did. So, either I fin- one of us finished it because we didn't have any left, so. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh, okay. I thought, that, for a second there, I thought it was some sort of, like, weird, uh, thing. Just the cheese, crunchy toasted cheese, two ingredients, cheese and jalapeno. And this is jalapeno cheese. Um, I just realized I forgot to give the ingredients and details on the Dang Bar and the Heck of Good Bar. So I'll give that once you're done with this one. Sure. There's one serving in each container, 150 calories. 12 fat. Less uh, than one carb. Less than one carb. And uh, eight protein. And I'm Sorry, definitely... I'm not going to be able to add out all of the dog barking. I'm going to try. So if you've seen a lot of choppiness in the last couple of seconds, it's because our dogs are barking because our 20-year-old just got home. Yes. I'm definitely trying this. Okay. So while you're trying that, I'm going to give the statistics on the Dang Bar and the Hecka Good Bar. So the Dang Bar is 210 calories, 15 grams of fat, 11 carbs with six fiber, and 9 grams of protein. So 5 net carbs for the Dang Bar. And one of the reasons why this bar is so amazing is because 190 calories, which is fine. It's 14 grams of fat, 23 carbs. However, that is made with 6 grams of fiber, 3 grams of erythritol, and 13 grams of allulose, giving you one net carb for this bar. And 11 protein. And I really enjoy allulose. It's my favorite non-sugar sweetener. Um, I think this could be sweeter, to be honest with you. I don't think it's on. I, I think that it definitely leaves mm. for someone who really enjoys sweet things. Um, it does leave a little bit on the table, but it's they're really good. I'm into this now. This is it looks like parmesan. Is it parmesan? Uh, oh. it just says cheese. <clears throat> So, but you, spicy you, wise, it's not terribly spicy. You like it because it's jalapeno and cheese, and it's got a little bit of spice to it. I, yep. I'm not a big fan of that type of cheese anyway, and I'm definitely not a, a fan of jalapenos. No, you hate so, it. Okay. all right, what do There's I want to no pull problem. out next? Okay, I'm going to pull out this item. The other, the, There's two more items in the box. We've gotten both of them before, but they're both just fine. So, this one is K2 
Decay Nutri Energy Bar Plus Collagen. It's a double chocolate cookie dough, so I want to give this one a try. Uh, calories is 260, 17 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs with 13 fiber. Whoa. Uh, so three net carbs and 15 grams of protein. So let's give this a try. Okay, so it's looks like it's got the consistency or the texture of... Bars. Well, it's going to be similar to a heck of good bar as far as texture goes. 260 is high, isn't it? It is a little on the higher side. And, um, wow. or, or like a um, Quest bar, like an original Quest bar. I prefer the Quest Hero bars, but it's basically like a, a regular Quest bar texture. It, it's not as good as the heck of good bar, but it's not bad. It's not bad. You wanna go ahead? Mm. Yep. I think we've had this before. We have. Raw Rev Glow. Uh, radiance from the inside out. Creamy peanut butter and sea salt. It's a bar with raw superfoods. Okay. And then the stats. This is very similar to the keto bar. Or the heck of a good bar. The stats on this are. Uh, obviously, a serving size per container, 180 calories. Uh, total fat, 11 grams. Damn. Um, That's good. Yeah. Total carbs, 17. What? Oh, fiber, 14. But there's two sugars. So, so there's three net carbs. Three net carbs. 15 grams of protein. That's significant. Okay. Pretty much just peanuts. Mm-hmm. Uh, rice, um, rice protein. Uh, I don't really remember these things, but I'm not really into trying it. Much you want. Okay. There's one more thing here. <clears throat> it is a quart of milkadamia milk. Yeah. This is a nice thing to get. Um, it's vanilla flavored, but it's unsweetened vanilla, so that is very good. And it's kind of nice that they sent them together. Yeah. And I think they did that before. They have. I think. And it might have been the keto box. One of these two sent Catalina Crunch. And um, really? milkadamia before, yeah. We got we got Catalina Crunch a couple months ago. We got the cinnamon flavor. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it also came with the milkadamia the same time. So I bet you it's the same box. I'm not sure. Mm. It's one. Or, it was keto, keto crate or keto box, one or the other yeah. that, that that sent the two together, which is kind of nice. Um, this is definitely a nice thing to have around the house. Neil has really our 20 year old has really gotten into cereals recently. Gotten back into cereals, and I bought. Um, several flavors of a keto cereal they're not my favorite but neil has been you know working his way through them so that's it that's all she wrote that's it for the keto crate this month i think it was good what do you think i'm pretty pleased with it i'm happy uh, with the milkadamia yeah. i'm happy with the cereal if neil doesn't eat it all i'm happy with the heck of good bar because i really know that this this is going to be eaten you know no problem and I'm kind of excited to give this a try. We do have another um, mix for a brownie. So I would be interested in doing like a head-to-head, -head, cooking both of them up and maybe doing a taste test. If you guys would be interested in that, let us know and we could do that. So um, My favorite, I, I would go, like this isn't terribly sweet. There is a little bit it's of an after. It's not overtly sweet, yeah. Um, so that's why I'm sort of into this. If you add that to like, if you put like an unsweetened vanilla milk with it, it might cover that yeah. uh, after taste. And I'm definitely, I, obviously I eat it all. The, the jalapeno cheese. Yeah. Jalapeno. So that's it for the keto crate. I, huh? I think it was worth it this month. And I know huh? that Neil is really going to get enjoyment out of, you know, several of the things. You know, the milkadamia, the sh heel. I'm taking heel, that. You're going to take cereal with you. I'm gone. It's gone. And uh, the keto uh, bar from Heck of Good The Heck of Good Foods. I think that's probably my favorite of everything. I on think here. Nick's probably going to eat this. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, All right, that's everything. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And leave us any comments in the comment section down below. We love to read from you guys. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope to see you on the next Omni's Eat. Bye.